Each organization plans and budget its operation for slightly different reasons. Because every organization has its own budgeting needs, so they do accordingly. Which one of the following is not a significant reason for planning? Which out of these four options, which is not related to planning? One is provide a basis for controlling operations too, because planning helps you to provide the basis, the principles. So this is the right option we are looking for, which is not right. So forcing manager, yes, it force managers. You know, once you make budget, managers are forced to follow this one. And the option checking progress towards the objective. This is also the advantage of the budget. If you see. Ensuring profitable operations. This is the same question that all profit should, all budget should be in profit. No, it cannot ensure. Budget cannot ensure profitable operations because budget can be in loss for a couple of years. So every year it cannot ensure you the profits. So which of the following is not a part of planning? Yes, C option is the right option. When developing a budget, an external factor to consider in the planning process is now there are two factors. One is internal, which happens because of inside the company, right? And there are some factors which happen outside of the company. He says, when developing a budget, external factors. Now, see, a change to decentralized management system is within the company, right? This is internal. Implementation of a new bonus system. This is also internal. internal because you did it for your employee within the company. New product development internal because you produce a product for you, right? The merger of two competitors mean outside your company, two competitors merge with each other. This is internal or external? External, external right? This is external. So he says when developing a budget. An external factor to consider in the planning is now we will start from here. You will read and skip. Which one of the following is usually not cited as being an advantage of an apartment budget budgeting? His question is which of the following is not an advantage for the making budget? Yes. Ensure improved cost control within the organization and prevent inefficiencies. Yeah, because we don't make budgets for ensuring profitability. This is the concept we already discussed. So, if you see, ensure improved cost controls within the organization and prevent inefficiencies. This is not an advantage of the setting because all are advantage. Force management. So once we make budget, we strict enforce manage, managers. Managers provide a formal benchmark. Benchmark means standards. That this is now budget you have to follow, right? And C is serve as coordination and communication. This is an advantage. This is we know. So out of that, only ensure improve cost control is not through budgets. But that is for operational efficiencies. We have operational. Uh, budget that comes later. That is not the part of strategic budgeting in general. Right? When we make budgets, we don't care about that cost control. Cost control will become and other plans later. Right? Yeah. I'm a bit confused. No problem. Uh, in part, yeah. improve cost control within the organization. It is the objective of specifically. Now, it is not object of making budget. It's an object of the objective. Is cost control itself is another plan for it. This is we don't call it budget, right? It's an operational plan. And every company wants to control the cost. It's not a part of budget, right? Budget is a profit plan which has a strategic implications. It force manager. It's it helps in planning. When you talk about planning, planning you don't plan for me and you, right? We say okay, we are planning for a good future based on this one, right? 
but not like cost control comes that we are four accountants that make three accountants. So this is what the difference is between which you have to understand if you see this one. Each operation plans and budget is operation for slightly different reasons. Which one of the following is not a significant reason for planning? Because in planning phase, we are not concerned about profitability, right? For example, we are planning for doing CMAs. Are you thinking about failure? There could be all planning has two options. One is failure, one is success. So we are not thinking about failure and success. We are thinking, we are forcing ourselves for a schedule that is here providing a basis for controlling, right? It's forcing you to come here and checking progress towards the objectives, right? But we are, your budget does not ensure that you will pass CME, right? Because budget is not always a success plan. It can be a loss plan also, right? Why we do budgeting is not to achieve uh, the profitability. But budgeting is broader in nature. It helps in planning, coordination, create motivation amongst people. Because most of the inefficiencies will remove in the planning phases. You know, because what you are going to do is, you are, you are going to study your uh, standards and your manpower, X, Y, Z, but in broader terms. Once you have a broader strategy, uh, like strategy to grow, then operational plans will come. A planning calendar is in budgeting is the calendar period is covered by the budget, schedule of activities for the development and adoption of Yeah, this board is actually the right term. And you can see it's a typical definition of planning calendar is in the budgeting is a schedule of activities for the development and adoption of the budget. So some questions are checking state knowledge of your uh, information that is given to you and some in a other way they move around. Yeah, next. The budget manual which enhances the operation of a budget system is most likely to include distribution instructions for budget Yeah, sharing. this is what we discussed that time, that the, when we prepare budget manual, it should include the distribution instruments, instructions, like, you know, it will move from sales to production, production to... Yeah, please. The budget of the site for long-term position, goals and objectives of an entity within its environment, is the strategy the budget? This long term position is always for strategy. strategy right? Cash management is operational day to day, right? Operating budget and this capital budgeting is the up to five years, you know, middle level budget that we made for. So, yeah, one by one, you should be clear for what terms gives. We have three levels strategic, medium, and Next. Which one of the following best describes the role of top management in the budgeting process? Top management should be involved only in the approval process. Yeah, this is what the right role for the top management. Because they should look the strategic vision of. Once they have a vision of expansion and uh, growth, like you're a company in US, now they want to come in UAE, for example. So now the all operational management like us, you know, like, the qualified people should work on that. We get the vision from the top, this is only is required. Because you know, generally, the top management is having multiple businesses. You know, it can be a group of company. The man in charge is having 100 companies on his rules. And he is not into day-to-day -day work, right? Ideally. So he should take only take part in that. Next. The primary role of the budget directors and the budgeting department is to compile the budget and manage the budget process. Actually in big companies we have a budget manager, budget director, what he does, he has the manual, manual 
current distribution instructions and he knows that now this department is going to finish the budget so let's take it from them and give it to the next you know department this is how they what yeah which one of the following is considered to be but be a benefit of uh, which one of the following is not considered means which is not an advantage of participatory but